I wanna teach you how to do a very simple reverb transition in Final Cut 10. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, which is just a vast library of more stuff to learn. One of my favorite classes on the platform is Dan Mace's storytelling filmmaking course. He really just draws you into your own intuitive understanding of what a story is and then how to convert that and convey that through video. It's a fantastic course, highly recommend it, or any of the other of thousands of courses of stuff that you're interested in. Skillshare is less than 10 bucks per month if you get an annual subscription, and the first thousand people to click the link in my description are gonna get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. So click it, check it out. Skillshare, thanks again for sponsoring. The reverb out. You're excited, I'm excited, let's get to it. It happens all the time, you're coming along to a part in the edit where you just wanna, you just don't need music, like whether it's talking, interview, whatever, you don't feel like dipping the music because you've done that a million times before, you definitely don't feel like fading out the music. Uh, I'm laughing because like, it's my most hated way of doing it, though I've done it, you've done it, we've all done it, like sometimes it works, whatever. The reverb out. I use it probably once a project, maybe once every other project. I really love it, it's super simple. Let me take you through the keystrokes right here. All right, this is just an example. Right here in my timeline, I have music, but the sequence ends before the music ends. So the music naturally ends over here. I need the music to end right here. What am I gonna do? Let's try the reverb out. First, I'm gonna trim that clip so it's right over there. Very end of the clip, go back three frames, four, all right? I'm gonna blade that and stretch this back out. So now I've got a little something to work with down here. Come right to the middle of that. I'm gonna hit Shift H, it's called Hold. If you don't wanna use the keyboard shortcut, you can go up here to Retime and click on Hold right there. One step, pro tip here, take this red part and stretch it out in the Retime. You're gonna need, uh, the reverb takes at least that long. Then you can see the music clip comes back in here. Just go ahead and, uh, and take that away. All right, once we're there, come over here to your effects browser, um, make sure that your effects are up, and then right here in the search, all video and audio is highlighted in the search, type in cathedral. There it is right there, slide that onto your clip, okay? Now what that does is it creates this reverb effect, so if we listen to it, you can hear it, it's subtle right now, but you can hear it. What we're gonna do is, and this is key, we gotta make this a compound clip. I love compound clips, here's another use of them. Make it a compound clip. You can see when you make it a compound clip that it's actually much quieter than, than, it, than it showed you in the last, before you made it a compound clip. The reason we need to make it a compound clip is because we actually want to trim it over to just this reverb section. Trim it over to here. I'm gonna do a little fade in right there. I'm gonna do a little fade out on our original song and then I'm gonna jack the volume up to 12 on the reverb clip. And you can see because we stretched that holdout, it gives it enough time to completely let the reverb decay. I think it's called decay. Now here's what we've got. That's the reverb out. I love it, I hope you love it. I hope you use it. I hope it's exciting for you. I hope you're one of the thousand to get the free trial membership of Skillshare Premium. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for being here.